It's been a dream of mine to harvest a really nice pronghorn buck. I was able to finally get a chance to go after one of these creatures in the fall of 2019. After a long summer of dreaming, opening morning finally arrived and I couldn't have been more excited. After driving and checking out most of the unit, we started to get a little discouraged. Not a single antelope in sight. After a few hours, we finally found one. It was definitely not the buck I was after though. Just got off the phone with uh, one of the guides over here who guides this area. He gave us a suggestion to head down a certain way that we hadn't been yet. Um, as we're driving through, he says, stop at this point, glass. Sure enough, we saw three or four antelope. They're running pretty quick, couldn't tell exactly what they were. So we're gonna head over there, see if we can get a jump up on them, see what they are and see if it's anything worth shooting. We were able to finally close the distance a little bit, but as I was getting ready to take a shot, the buck saw us, gathered up his herb, and took off. Day two was more hard hunting. The only opportunity presented to us was a long ways away, off in an open field. Unfortunately, that buck busted me pretty quickly and got out of town. We pulled out all the stops for our third day, including a much better rifle built for long range shooting. We found a herd early in the morning and began stalking in on one of the satellite bucks. We took a route that gave us more cover, but by the time we exited the trees, the buck had disappeared. A few hours later, we spotted a buck 800 yards off of the road. After watching him for a few minutes, we determined that he was a shooter and it was time to set up for a long range shot. Just as we were getting ready to shoot, the buck stood up out of his bed and began running closer towards us.
Eventually, he disappeared into a ravine and we quickly picked up our gear and headed in for a closer chance. Sure enough, this plan worked and we were given a short window of opportunity at 370 yards. I made the perfect shot. The antelope dropped dead in his tracks, resulting in a quick and ethical harvest. We did it. Guns up. Parker made it happen. Yeah. The antelope king. What a crazy, crazy day. I can't believe how that one went down. Nice. <laughs> Quick. Nice. <laughs> And this four mile pack out's rough. <laughs> Take it, dude. Take it. So cool. Exciting. Antelope are just so cool. I just have the utmost respect for these creatures and just how amazing they are. I am extremely blessed and grateful. Blessed and grateful to be back in the truck, too. <laughs>